Hey, what is up everyone? This is Private Mittens, and I'm going to be doing my pickup video for May of 2019. Um, sorry I haven't done a video in a while. I've been sick, working my ass off and other stuff, but I will try to get back on track, hopefully. Um, there's a lot of miscellaneous stuff this month, and there's a reason for that. Uh, I'll explain when I get into it. But the first two games I got, digital, uh, Rope Returns of Edith Finch. Uh, I got that through... Obviously, PlayStation Plus. Yeah, it's not that great. Um, and then I bought the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince, which it's okay. It's not nothing special. It was seven dollars ninety nine, so it's eight bucks through the PlayStation sale. So yeah, it's all right. Not the greatest, but still. Um, we'll do these first. I got two Totaku figures. Um, Crash Bandicoot, I got Coco. She was $4 because they had a sale on. Not much to really say there. There's the back if you want to kind of read that because of the quality shit. But yeah, Coco, four bucks. The other one I got was Cortex from Crash Bandicoot as well. Love Cortex, one of the best characters in Crash Bandicoot. Probably the best, actually. Um, ball box. So, moving on. Uh, this month, the start of it, had the Starlight Foundation, which is, like, children, like, in hospital, stuff like that there. You buy stuff from EB Games, and they donate money to... Like, they add up the money that's been thing, and they give it to, you know, the kids, you know, that kind of stuff, right? So, I got a few miscellaneous stuff off them so moving to number one moving on number one. I meant to say moving on uh, a Game Informer magazine for Mega Man 11 and then it has different Mega Man's on the back uh, I just bought it just for the cover really to be honest I don't care about the reviews and shit in the book because I don't care for magazines like this uh, same as if, if you've never heard of it it's the same as Nintendo Power plain and simple uh, two bucks for this, so can't complain. Uh, and also got Monster Hunter World one, exactly the same game informer, and in the back. Uh, once again, it's exactly the same. It's a magazine and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, two bucks for this as well. One it for the cover, exactly the same as the Mega Man one. Um, so I bought this for a dollar. Pokemon, is it Let's Go? Is it? Let's Go Eevee. Uh, this was a pre-order bonus, I think. Uh, there was Pikachu and Eevee. I wanted the Eevee one. I could have bought both, but what can you do? I just thought, eh, I'll get Eevee because I'm not really that big of a fan on Pikachu. And besides, there are heaps of shit with Pikachu on it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just like a plushy keychain of Eevee from the game, but it's they were selling it because they had heaps. So it was a dollar, as I said. Uh... <laughs> got this uh, Fallout 76 is pre-order CD uh, it doesn't have music from the game as in like licensed soundtrack no that would be too good for them to release it's essentially music done by the comp uh, done by Bethesda uh, I paid 50 cents for this <laughs> um, yeah don't know why I bought it actually to be honest I thought fuck it I'll get it just to have Moving on. <laughs> uh, this is a pre-order bonus, I think. These are Soul Calibur 6, as you can see. These are playing cards. Like, you know, your standard playing cards. Um, I'm never going to open it. Paid a dollar for it. What can, what can you do? I would have bought two of them, actually, because Devil would have liked it. But this was the last one, so I got it. What can you do? <laughs> Moving on. Uh, I got a Kingdom Hearts 3 keychain of a Heartless. Um, oh, it's light up well, apparently. Light up my ass. Um, but yeah, <laughs> 50 cents. <laughs> light up my. What the fuck? Light up my fucking bullshit. Um, 50 cents. This was. I thought, why not? I like the Heartless. Who doesn't? What can you do? So yeah. That is not light up. Um, moving on. 
I got a steel book of a game I don't actually have, but I thought, why not? Uh, it is Dirt Rally 2.0. Uh, as you can see, the Porsche on the one side. This side has got the Porsche, I believe, Lanciers. I think they're Lanciers. I know the, I know this one is. Ah, I know this one on the left-hand side is. But thing. And then the middle is a Porsche. I'm a sucker for steel books, as I said, so yeah. 50 cents. Why not? Need to get the game, but I'm not paying 70 bucks for it. Um, so last ones for the Starlight one. Uh, you know, if you watched one of my videos a while, like last year, this came with the pre-order bonus. They were selling a few of these because they must have, you know, not a lot of people pre-order. Um, yeah. So I bought two. One for Devil, one for me to have two of, but he wanted one, so I bought two sides. You know what I mean? I bought two from that seal. That's what I should have said. Um, but yeah, I think they look fantastic, but you decide. Uh, paid 50 cents for this one. They had fucking heaps of the Dark Souls ones too. It was like that much in a stack. And last, I bought two for me, one for Devil. Uh, they're exactly the same, by the way. So Calibre 6, exactly the same thing. They're like the steel plate of like an anime style of the characters. So you got uh, Sophita... Metsurugi, uh, whatever you call the fucking dude from Witcher. Geralt, whatever the hell he is. Geralt. Um, they were a dollar each, so I bought three. As I said, one for Devil, two for me. One's to have, one's, you know, for gets wrecked kind of thing. That was everything from the Starlight Foundation, uh, seal. Uh, there was other stuff there I could have bought, like, um, as I said, the Pikachu thing. There was steel books for FIFA. Not that anyone wants to fucking buy stuff like that there. Uh, there was tops, but unfortunately they were all for like small sizes, not like fat fucks like me, so fuck that. But anyway, yeah. So I bought all that from the Starlight Foundation thing. Moving on, uh, I'll do this next. I got three 3DS games. I got, don't you fool, um, Rayman 3D, which is more or less Rayman DS, just better visuals, and it's supposed to be Rayman 3D Rima. It's fucking stupid. Um, and then the back. Love Rayman. I think it's one of Ubisoft's best properties. Paid 10 bucks for it. Can't complain. Moving on. Rayman Origins for 3DS. I now, sides from the Wii U one, and the Xbox ones, I have every version of this game. Uh, I love it to bits. I think it's one of the best games, period, they've ever made. The sequel is better, though, but yeah. Then the back. $15 for this, but it's worth it. I know it's a great game, so yeah. Uh, last 3DS game I bought was expensive, but it is quite a rare game to get. That is... Final Fantasy Explorers. Um, I've not played it, but it's, it's an RPG hack and slash, I think. Could be wrong. I haven't played it, but I could be wrong. Um, if you look on the back, there's Lightning and Cloud, so it's got other characters from the series. I've never played an Explorers game, so be interesting to see what it's like. So yeah, paid $45 for this, so... That was fucking expensive, but it is a rare game nonetheless. So I thought, eh, bite the bullet, pick it up. It's a lot better than the other Final Fantasy game I bought this fucking month. <laughs> um, so moving on, I have two Wii games. First one is probably one of the rarest games on the system, and probably one of the best looking games on the system too. That is Endless Ocean. I've seen this once in my life besides... This first I'm holding, that was in the UK, and they wanted £35 for it. And this was like, when this came out, 2008. This was like four years after it launched. That's how much they still wanted for this game. Don't know how much it is now in the UK. I mean, it could have dropped, may have dropped, but back then it was fucking expensive. I only paid 10 bucks for this, and I couldn't believe it. Like, Because I saw it and I went... 
wait a minute, that's Endless Ocean. And look at the disc. Just some finger marks on it. There's no scratches or anything scuffed on it. And I'm just like, I just got one of the hardest games to get in the system for that price. So yeah. Cannot complain though. I haven't played it yet though. And the other Wii game I got was... Salmon Max Season 1. This, oh, this is Telltale Salmon Max Season 1. But you should, could have guessed that when I said Season 1. But uh, I didn't even know that we had this actually. So when I saw it, it was quite a pleasant surprise. Um, what did it come out? Half of it's in fucking Greek. <laughs> um, 2008. Wow, it's actually... Ah, uh, but anyway. So yeah, this is a Telltale's game, so... Plain and simple, I think we all know how they play. Uh, that was nine bucks. So, I could not believe that when I saw it. So, got two... I'd say that's rare as well, actually. But two rare games for the Wii. Really happy about that. There's a few other Wii games I want, but... Getting them. Uh, next we have... From PSP games, I got Super Fruit Fall. It is a puzzle game. Nothing much to say on that. I've not played it. I thought oh, it's a PSP game. I'll grab it. Um, I think it may be a mobile game as well, but I'm not too sure. But anyway, paid five bucks for that. Can't complain. It's complete as well, so that's a bonus. Up next is a game that I. The naming is stupid. That's what annoys me with this. So, it's called Platypus. Now, the first thing you'd think of is the animal, Platypus. Oh, is it a platformer? Is it a side-scrolling platformer? You know, something like that there. No, it turns out it's a side-scrolling shooter with clay animation. Uh, but it actually looks really good. I've got to give it that, but it's the name that annoys me with this. Um, yeah, I can't complain. Paid five bucks for this as well, so... Yeah, looks really good. I like the animation, so. There's not very many clay animation games anyway, so that's a bonus. So, yeah. Last PSP game I bought was a game I actually have already. The sealed version in America. Uh, in America. I have the sealed American version, and I never want to open it because... I mean, what's the fucking point? Um, so, I've always wanted to have the normal version just to play didn't bother me if it was you know like a platinum edition shit like out there i actually find it that is motorstorm arctic edge this is obviously the psp essential cover as i said doesn't bother me as i know i've got the american version sealed which is the original release version which their cover looks far better than ours um i'd actually say it's the second best motorstorm game that was ever made obviously number one being pacific edge is it edge no pacific rift um, but yeah, this game is fucking fantastic. Um, if you can, play it on the PS Vita through the digital download. If you can't, buy the PSP version. If you can't do any of those, suffer for the PS2 version. The PS2 version is an inferior port of this version, but... Whatever you can do, do. But it's a fucking great game. Paid $7 for this. As I said, I don't mind paying $7 or... Even if it was $10, just for the sheer fact that I know I can now play it without ever having to open the American version. Because I had this game ages ago when I had my PSP, and I don't know where the fuck it's gone. So, yeah. Um, next we have two PlayStation 3 games. First is one I've wanted for a while, which is quite hard to get. Well, at least in Australia for us. That is Disney's Tron Evolution. Uh... Really like the Tron movie, both versions. Um, I heard the game's actually not bad. So, yeah. Gonna see what it's like. Um, there's the back, if you can see that without the fucking flare. Uh, yeah. Paid ten bucks for that. Pretty happy. Did another PSP, uh, another PS3 game I gotta add to the fucking shelf. Um... The last PS3 game I got was Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Very hard game to get. In fact, all the Spider-Man games are for PS3. 
uh, except for the Amazing Spider-Man 1, 2. One of them is really easy to get on the PS3. Just haven't bought it. But the old ones, this one included, is fucking hard to get. Especially the one where it has the multiple timelines. That's one I actually do want, and it's really hard to get. But, uh, yeah, got this. This cost me 10 bucks. Really happy because it is a hard game to get. It's actually got an original Kmart sticker on it, which I actually didn't notice until just there now. How the fuck did I not notice that? But, uh, yeah, really happy with that. Now I'm just going to try and get the other ones. Now we're down to the PS4 games, so let's get started. Uh, I bought... Mortal Kombat 11, Steelbook Edition. Uh, the Steelbook is exactly the same as the cover, by the way. I uh, also got Shao Kahn as a digital character. So I got this for $60, and in Big W, by the way. And you get one of these free with it. It was between this, Sub Zero, and Raiden. Should have went with Raiden, but I fucking I went for Scorpion. I don't know why. But I shouldn't have, I should have went for Raiden. Um, good game. I will say it's, what it does well is, it's fighting is probably the best in the series. I, I don't know if I'd say that, but the graphics are, fuck they are good. Um, but everything else is either shit, mediocre, and that's it. I, I would probably do a review on this, but if you want to see it. Um, because I can go into detail why this is one of the worst Mortal Kombat games, but at the same time, one of the best. If that makes any sense to you. But yeah. Really did enjoy like uh really did enjoy like. Really did enjoy playing it though in terms of its gameplay. Its gameplay is fucking great. And also they did take out some of my characters that I mained with, like Reptile, Melina, and shit like that there. But then I started to use Jade, and Jade is so good in this game. So Really cool. So 60 bucks, I did say that. Should have went for the Raiden, though. <laughs> but oh well, shit happens. Maybe I can get Raiden in the future. Um, so moving on, I got Metro Exodus. Finally got it. I haven't played it. Uh, it's bound to be really good. The first two were fantastic, so yeah. I really can't say anything on that because I've not played it yet. Uh, I will play it eventually, though. So, yeah. Mine just went a blank. Uh, I paid $55 for this, so... Happy with that. I mean, considering I want to buy Seracode Shadows Dies twice, but that's $90 pre-owned, 100 brand new, and I ain't fucking paying that when I can get two games... More or less for the price of it, so fuck that. But yeah. Uh, up next, I'll leave that to later because of the thing. Uh, Team Sonic Racing. I actually recently just picked this up. I completed it, by the way. Um, it does some things right. It does some things wrong. I would have preferred a sequel to All-Star Racing. Uh, or at least a sequel to... Sega characters in general, not just Sonic ones, but even with the Sonic ones in general, they could have just thrown in so many characters that don't get attention much anymore. But what can you do? Uh, graphics are good, gameplay is really good. I think everything else is meh. But yeah, not bad. 50 bucks brand new, because it was half price day one for some reason, so yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta give credit where credit's due to digital uh, sumo digital yeah sumo digital the booklet it's a booklet not a fucking not a uh, you know slip of paper uh, to give you an example shows you what the weapons do stuff like that there gotta give credit where credit's due so well done to the company and well done to Sega moving on. I bought a Game of the Year edition of a game last year. I call them Game of the Year editions. You can call them whatever you want. Uh, of one of the best games of last year. That is Injustice 2. 
Legendary Edition. I'm calling it Game of the Year Edition. Um, where it comes with the characters, which are Sub-Zero, Black Mantra, Got what you called the dude. One from Mortal uh one from Batman. Fuck that's gonna annoy me now. Uh Adam Starfire. I don't know what you call that girl. I think it's Mother Nature or something like that there. Uh Dark Side, Hellboy, Raiden, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Raiden's broke. I used like I used all the characters see what they're like. I steamrolled everything that I fought with Raiden and I was playing on normal. Nothing could stop me. I was getting more or less 8 out of 10 times getting a flawless victory or perfect with Raiden. That's how fucking good he is in this game. Other characters are quite good as well. I mean, I'm not a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I grew up with like other shows from that era. But I hated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They did a really good job on this. I actually really like using them. Which is a testament to say. they've NetherRealms did a fucking great job. Um, so yeah. The DLC is on the disc by the way. So that's a real good bonus. So if you ever buy it. Make sure the disc is that. Because then you've got your disc with the DLC. What the game does is it installs. Once the update's finished. The characters are there. So just be warned. I think you do need an internet connection. To get the DLC characters onto the disc. Or off the disc, should I say. But this day and age, everyone's got it. But yeah, that was $30. Really happy with that because it is the Game of the Year edition. The DLC alone is like fucking 50 bucks on PSN. So yeah. Just Sony being Sony. Uh, moving on. This was a complete stab in the dark just to get. Because I thought, why not? That is, what is it? Among the Sleep. This is a psychological horror, it reckons. First person psychological horror game. Told from the perspective of a toddler. Alrighty then. Uh, but anyway. Seems alright. I mean, I've heard mixed things. People say it's shit. People say it's good. People say it's in the middle. Mainly in the middle, people have said. But a lot lean to shit, so, yeah. But it's it's published by... Sodesco, the ones it's published Ziggurat, so I'm happy to play it because Ziggurat was fantastic. Only paid ten dollars for this. Can't complain for ten dollars. It's an indie title too, I think. Yes, it is. It's an indie title because I just remembered Sodesco publishes indie titles, so yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, ten bucks. I'm not gonna complain. I mean, indie titles have been quite good recently, so maybe it's worth playing. I don't know find out. Maybe I'll do a playthrough together and we'll all see what it's like. Um, next we have a game that I was looking forward to. I haven't played it. Uh, I really enjoyed the first game, so I'm looking forward to playing the second. That is The Division 2. Really enjoyed The Division 1. A really pleasant surprise, actually. And I thought, yeah, 2 is going to be quite good then. I'm going to enjoy 2. Haven't played it. 2 looks great. And from what everyone has said, 2 is really good. In fact, it's one of the best loot shooters out there. It's up there with Borderlands, so that's really good. Um, so Ubisoft has listened. And then there's the back. So, yeah. Uh, $55 as well. Same as Metro. Um, next we have Mega Man 11. They actually released it on disc. Holy shit, Capcom, actually give it to us. Um, I haven't played it. I think Devil's played this. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I eventually got it. So I still need to get Legends on PS4, which I'm going to have to import from either America or Canada. But yeah, paid 30 bucks for that. Quite happy with that because, I mean, it's fucking Mega Man and also we got the disc. <laughs> we actually got it on disc, lo and behold. Uh... So yeah, this one I technically uh, traded and paid for. Um, cousin of mine wanted a Magic the Gathering card off me, and he has no cards I wanted. And I thought, oh, well, you owe me twenty bucks. He's was getting rid of his PS4 and like games for it, and he has a game that I wanted. And I thought, he's selling that, and he goes, yeah. Because I asked him, are you selling that? Because it's a 
collector's edition. That's why. If it was a normal game, I obviously knew he would be selling it. But I said to him, are you, are you selling that? And he goes, yeah. So I got this off him. The Spiral Trilogy Collection. Uh, this was 60 bucks because that's how much it is. And I thought, well, I'll pay how much it is because it's only fair because he does look after his stuff. Um, so yeah, I traded him the card that he owed me 24 and then I paid 40 bucks on top for the game. Uh, your pre-order bonus, or reckons it's not a pre-order bonus, but fucking... Um, you get a, like a keychain of Spyro on one side and it's Spyro and a code. I think the code's for like a fucking theme or something. I don't know. Uh, but he said that the, the case that it was in, the, the, the keychain, was damaged. So that's why it's not in the box, but everything else doesn't have a mark on it because I double checked. Because I'm, as I said, he looks out for stuff anyway. Um, there's what it comes with. It comes with three uh, art cards which are still sealed and have not been opened. The steel book. I'm a fucking sucker for steel books and the game itself plus the keychain. And I think it's like avatars and themes. But yeah, sixty dollars for that. Really happy about that. It says on the back EB exclusive, which is bullshit. I have seen it in some. I've seen it in Target, I think. So uh, Target or Big W, I can tell you now. I have. Um, but yeah, sixty bucks for that. Really happy. Cause I want to play it eventually, and Devil has played it, and he says it's really good. I think he's played the first two. Don't know if he started three. So, last we have a fucking game I cannot stand playing. And once I finish the story, I fucking turn that off quicker than you could. Like, as soon as I finish the story, off the PlayStation, deleted. That is... Final Fantasy Dissidia NT. Wow. So, really enjoyed the first two on PSP. This one I did not enjoy playing. I think the gameplay just seems to be worse than the others. They uh, they fuck the story. You have to unlock shit for the story mode. So say for instance, if you want to watch a cutscene or actually progress through the story mode, you have to go to a game mode or go online and unlock like uh, memory pieces, I think they're called. And they're random. You're not guaranteed that. So therefore, you have to grind to complete the story. Outside of the story mode, I meant best way to do it by the way is go to the gauntlet mode which is like thing and just spam with mages that's all you need to do you'll unlock everything as quickly as possible and that's what you need to do yeah that's how enjoyable it was it was fucking bullshit graphics aren't even that great the character roster i don't think is all that great either um the story is it's, it's fucking shit it is bad like you fight the summons in the story mode. Everyone had trouble with the Leviathan and Sh uh, Shiva. Shiva, Sh Shiva, whatever you call the ice one. I beat them on my first go. And I thought, eh, they're not that bad. But when I got to, uh, what do you call the summon that has electric? I can't remember his name. It's the old dude that was introduced, I believe, through Final Fantasy thirteen. Fuck me, he pissed me off so much, and I hated that fight. He was just unfair. He could one-shot you for no reason. And, yeah. Then the last fight in the game against the final boss can... Oh, it's bullshit. What I mean by... He, they overpower you is... You have to level up... To make the game easier. And to make your character stronger. In stats. That's bullshit. So, hope you like grinding outside of the story mode, because that's what that is. It's one of the worst games on the PS4. Bar none. Don't care what anyone says it is. So yeah, paid $9 for this, and I still feel fucking cheated out of that. But yeah, that is everything I've got, guys. Thank you for watching, and thank you for sticking by us, and, you know, keep watching when you do. Um, I'll do a video probably three days from now i don't know what it's going to be because i actually have been wanting to do a uh top rpg list which is going to be quite hard to get the footage for that's why 
it's just been quite hard and then I want to do an RTS list which that I could probably do most of the footage for myself by a couple of games but uh, yeah we'll see how that goes and once again thanks for sticking by and thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video let us know if you think I was a better pickup than last month I honestly think in some ways it is but there is some games that fucking tarnish that like obviously Final Fantasy um I'd say the best pickup all month. Probably Endless Ocean for the Wii. As I'm really surprised I was able to find that. So yeah. Also, on another note, I finally finished Red Dead Redemption 2 after all this time. Wow. It's Game of the Year of last year. Far better than the, my actual choice of Game of the Year. Which was... Monster Hunter, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was Monster Hunter. As much as I love Monster Hunter, Red Dead Redemption 2 was so good. Um, so yeah, I mean, everyone's probably played it by now. If you haven't, I highly recommend getting Red Dead Redemption 2. It is far better than fucking Grand Theft Auto 5. I hated that game. I thought that game was crap. But Red Dead Redemption 2 is... It is a magnum opus in terms of what it did. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you know I did finish that. Because it'll like... Someone may in the future go, oh, where's Red Dead Redemption on the list? But Red Dead Redemption 2 is Game of the Year of last year. And I'd actually, if I was to go back now and change that list, I would change it because there is a few games that I have actually would change out stuff. A uh, few happy few would actually hit the list because I actually think despite the technical issues, that's a good game. So, yeah. Sorry for rambling on at the end there. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Take care. See you later. Bye.